beside her in the tank old bed linen. She was utterly spent, yet felt more alive than she had ever been. Her nether regions were still humming from Rochester's attentions. She had not known it was possible to experience a sensation quite like that his tongue had produced in her. To make the velvet, he had called it. Certainly she had never imagined anything like that in her old build to the shattering release that it had her gasping, bucking, pulling his head to her, never wanting it to end. Rochester brought her back to the present, the squeeze of her right breast. Fetch the wine. Nell turned her head. The wine lay on the table several feet away. Why did he fetch it? Because I told you to. She patted naked across to the table, returned with the bottle, and filled the glasses they had abandoned. Propped against the enormous down-filled pillows, she surveyed the bed and its trappings. I love this bed. It's so... This bed is your stage. From such a stage, you could do anything. Now set the glass down and moved on her knees closer to him. He kissed her deeply, his tongue probing her mouth. He seized first one breast and then both of them, his fingers playing on her nipples, teasing and then pinching until she gasped. He looked intently into her eyes and pinched harder. Give me drink. She held the glass to his lips and then to her own. You spilled. He used a finger to wipe a drop from her breast, touched it to her lips, and then thrust it into her mouth. Suck. Now use your tongue, too. Good. Now stop. He withdrew his fingers slowly from her mouth and pulled her head back so that she had to look at him, then released her and gestured for his wine. Now it felt a curious excitement and anticipation. You look pleased with yourself. Should I not? You like it. She reached for his cock, but he stayed her hand. Yes, but I can make you better. So good that you can leave the feel of your tongue and throat on a man's tarts for days. Now smiled at him, cat like. Very well, my lord. What would you? She jumped between his thighs, her hands still moving lightly, her eyes looking up at him. Rochester shook his head, impatient. Do you not understand? What power there is in that mouth, these sumptuous tits, that tight cunning of yours. Power to do what? Almost anything. 